hello? Hello, hello? Uh, I wanted to record this message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Uh, I worked in that office before you, actually, and uh, I decided to record some messages because I had some messages recorded for me, and it really helped. So, I'm here to help you and uh, just tell you, really, reassure you, say, there's really nothing to worry about. You'll do fine. Um, but before I get into the basics of uh, how to do this, first I'm going to read you this introductory greeting from the company. Now, I'm required to read this because it's kind of a legal thing, so just bear with me. Uh, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person uh, upon discovery, damage or death, uh, blah blah blah, will be filed within 90 days, blah blah blah. Uh, now, that might actually sound quite bad, I know, I know, it's, I, I felt the same way, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, might want to warn you, the animatronic characters here do tend to get a little quirky at night. They're left in some sort of free roaming mode at night. Something about their servos locking up if they get turned off for too long, which I don't understand why that's a thing. They, they should just turn them off during the night. It's just more stress for the night guard. But, hey, I don't make the rules here. Uh, what else, what else? Uh, yeah. Uh, about the animatronic seeing you. Uh, they will sometimes get to your office, and if they happen to see you, they probably most likely won't recognize you as a person. They'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. And that's actually against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's. So they'll try to kind of forcefully shove you inside a suit. An animatronic suit, that is. Uh, now, to be honest, that wouldn't really be too bad if the suits weren't filled with animatronic devices. Especially round the face. So, if you get put in there by force, you're kinda sorta gonna bite it. So, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend letting them in your office, no matter how cute they look. Uh, uh about letting about your office. Now, your office has two doors on either side of you. If you see something out there, just shut the door. But only make sure to shut the doors if absolutely necessary. Don't don't be leaving them shut now because uh this building has some really bad power at night and if you run out of power, it's kind of going to be bad. You're not going to be able to do your job, the cameras will shut down, everything will go dark, and they'll find you. So, remember to shut the doors only if absolutely necessary. But other than that, you should be fine. So, I'll, I'll let you to it. I'll be giving you these messages to help you get through just your first week, okay? Let's, let's just get you through your first week. Now, I'll leave you to it. Uh, check those cameras, and remember, shut the doors only if absolutely necessary. You have to conserve that power. Alright, good night.